again. Hey, say it again. Fans of Animal Kingdom have had a long wait for the new season of the show. It's been two long years of waiting to find out what happens next to the Cody family. Now, season five is finally here and fans are overjoyed. But so much happened at the end of season four that it's easy for fans to forget exactly what went on. So let's see how season four ended and then we can look at some of the things that are waiting in season five. This is Animal Kingdom season four ending explained and theories for season five. Warning, massive spoilers ahead. Please remember to hit the like button if you enjoy this video and then subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. That way we can always keep you up to date on anything we post. Smurf and her demise. Smurf has never been a lady that likes to give over control to others. She does everything in her own way and on her own terms. So when viewers found out that Smurf had been diagnosed with cancer, we just knew she was going to do things completely in her own way. But none of us could really predict what happened next. She decides to do one last massive and super dangerous job and go after Jeb's goal. The job almost gets both her and Pope killed, but when Pope saves her, she's furious. She planned the job as a suicide mission and to die in a blaze of glory rather than fighting cancer. That doesn't say much for just how much she cared whether Pope made it out alive or not, but I guess she's never been the greatest mother anyway. She tries to force Pope to kill her, but he can't do it and he keeps refusing. In a shock twist, Jay shoots her and kills her instead. It doesn't go over great with the rest of the family, but it was even more shocking that Smurf was actually dead and that she won't have a miraculous comeback. How will this affect the family? Who was taking the lead? After that, Pope tried taking the lead, but not all the brothers were really happy with that fact. Tensions are high between the family, and none of them seems to believe the other should be in charge. The Cody's aren't the most functioning family to start with, but after the death of Smurf, they were a bit all over the place. Pope is trying to take the lead for now, but we'll have to wait and see if he can gain the rest of the family's respect, and if he's able to remain in control. Where was Jay at the end of season 4? After Jay kills Smurf, the rest of the family is not super happy with him. He's been an outsider from the rest of the family anyway, and now Smurf isn't there to protect him. At first, Pope kicked him out of the house and out of the family, but he'd been planning on getting kicked out for a while. So Jay bought his own bowling alley with money that he'd been stealing from Smurf for a long time. But in the end, Pope is seemingly allowing Jay back into the family. Smurf taught Jay a lot of the things that they'll need to run things. So in some ways, Pope needs Jay to help him stay in control of the family and keep everything on track. Darren stayed. Before Smurf died, Darren had plans to leave town with Adrian so that they could start a new life together. But when they meet to leave town, Darren tells him that he can't leave, but that he still wants Adrian to go for his own safety. Adrian would never be safe if he stayed, but Darren seems to be choosing his family over him. So in the end, Adrian leaves, and Darren stays. Angela and her brother. Mike has been a danger to Angela ever since he returned to town. But in the end of the last season, she finally confronts him and tells him that he can't touch her since she's with the Cody's now. But he doesn't think that it means much since Smurf died. Then all of the Cody boys show up seemingly united and prove him wrong. Pope, Jay, Craig, and Darren show up and start taking on Mike and his gang, and they give them a serious beating. And that's where the season ended, with the Cody family publicly giving proof that they are still to be reckoned with and still super dangerous. Where does season five start? It's been two years in the real world since we saw the Cody family last, but it seems like in the show that no time has passed at all. We seem to pick up right where we left off in season four. Smurf has just died. Craig has just become a father. Then the Cody's have just learned that Smurf left almost everything to someone they don't know. The family is in turmoil. They're all dealing with a lot and they're gonna need to sort out a lot of things in the coming season. Smurf's remain. In a preview for the new season, we found out that Pope still needs to deal with Smurf's remains and dispose of her body in some way. It's not like they can really just get her buried or cremated without raising a lot of questions. So how will he deal with this first major hurdle in becoming a leader in the family? Craig and Ren have a baby. This life isn't exactly the best and safest world to look after a new baby. Life is never easy for new parents, but Craig and Ren are going to force a lot of extra challenges in raising their kid in a world full of dangers. They have to juggle their old lives with raising a new baby and in becoming new parents. It won't always be easy. Where will Jay be? He seems to be firmly back at the side of his family and working with Pope in the future. He might even become Pope's right hand in the family. That is, if they're ever able to start trusting each other and if they're all able to get on the same page. On the other hand, Jay might be busy with the bowling alley now. This could be a great business to add to their criminal empire as a front for all sorts of shady dealings or as a base for some shady 
business deals. But according to some of the previews, he's also going to go to some old contacts to get a new job at the same time. We never know quite what Jay is going to do next. He's a bit of a wild card, but that's what makes the character interesting and fun to watch. What about Darren? He has given up so much to remain in the family. He has pretty much given up on any hope he had to have a semi-normal life. But his past with Aiden might still have an influence on season 5 and on Darren's life no matter how hard he tries to outrun it. We aren't sure if that's bad news for Aiden, because if he didn't go far enough away, he might be used against the Cody's. Or the others might even use him against their brother. It seems like Darren is tired of being the lowest on the pecking order. Hence, from the show's fifth season have given the idea that he might try to take the lead in the family and become the head of the family. There's no chance that Pope will easily give up this power, so it's very likely that there might be a bit of a war brewing in the family too. How will Smurf's death keep affecting the family? Smurf has always firmly been in control of the family, and she's always been the one that makes all of the plans and sets the schemes in motion. So her death is really going to affect the family in the sense that they are now going to have to make their own plans to keep ahead. And then there's this little matter of who's going to be in charge of everyone. If they don't figure that out very quickly, they're going to be in big trouble. Their enemies have already started to circle in Season 4, thinking that the Cody family will be weak without Smurf at the head of things. If they don't get it together, their enemies are sure to try and destroy them. But even if they don't, everything in the family is going to be changed by Smurf's death. Pamela Johnson At this stage, viewers have a better idea of who Pamela Johnson is. Smurf left most of her money and even her house to her. In flashbacks, we've started to get to know Pamela, and we've started to see some of the things that she did for Smurf. But I think it's very unlikely that the Cody boys will just meekly allow all of Smurf's money to go to someone they don't even know. They'll definitely be on a mission to find out who she is and to figure out how to get the money and the house back into their possession. It might just be the thing that unites them and gives them a united goal to work towards. It might just be the thing that keeps them from destroying the family from the inside. Will there be more flashbacks? The flashbacks from season 4 gave us a lot of information about Smurf and her younger years, but there's still a lot more we don't know. So it's likely that we'll get to see the younger version of Smurf a few more times to get her entire story. The flashbacks gave a bit of an added dimension, so I do hope that we do get to see more of it in season 4. Will season 5 be the final season? No. But the final season is not far away. Animal Kingdom has already been renewed until season 6, but they've announced that season 6 will be the final season. Animal Kingdom has a great opportunity to end the show really well and give the fans a great finale. But for now, we can't wait to see what happens in season 5. Thanks for watching.